Hey dear friends, welcome back to the part 7 of Chaofx tutorial. Uh, please make sure you subscribe my channel. Uh, in this lesson, I will show you how you can work with uh, layout in Chaofx. So I have created uh, a project layout demo from before and we have a default package layout demo inside the default package we have a package a layout demo inside the layout demo package we have a class layout demo so this is a simple class so i want to choose border pan as my root layout border pan is divided into five parts okay border pan root is equal to new border pan so let's import it from javafx to the application this is border pan okay and I want I want to use the border pan as my root layout. I told you that border pan divided into five parts: top, left, right, center, and bottom. So also we need a scene. You need a scene okay scene okay this is a problem we need a scene sample inside the stage uh, but we put our root layout inside the scene and uh, first parameter uh, we'll put our root layout to the, to the scene and then the second parameter is pet and the third parameter is height And then stage that set title, for example, layout demo and stage dot show. Now, if I run this application, just show a frame with no components. And all layout are not visible to you. It is just a layout. Okay, this is our scene. This is our job application. So first of all I want to make I want to show you how you can use VBug edge box so I want to make a make dot which returns an edge box edge box will lay out your components horizontally okay uh, the edge box will lay out your components as horizontally so get edge box components for example HVC and the HPC returns an H box. So we make an H box inside this. Okay, H box. And also I want to make a text build from JavaFX that's in that control 
as my username is equal to new text field. Okay, new text field. And also, I want to make a password field from the office that's in that can troll password is equal to new password field. And also, I want to make a button from JavaFX that send that control liking button is equal to new button with a text. Okay, login. And then I want to add this three component inside inside the hbox layout okay so i call the get children the get children will return an object of observable list of nodes so this objects can by this object we can call at all method to add all the components username such as username password and login okay user name so then we'll return the box so that this get hbc will return an hbox component uh, which contains three components one text field and one password field and one button uh, uh, because this uh, laid out our component as horizontally so i want to put them in the top by set top method which put a node on top of top of our border pan because i told you that the border pan divided into five parts root no root get hbc okay so let's run again There is nothing. Let's clean and build. Mm. Sorry, my computer, net. my computer, hibernated. Hibernated. My computer has hibernated because uh, it, it didn't have charge. So then we will run our application. So as you can see, there is nothing. And let's see what's the problem. We have created a method which returns an edge box this edge bar then we inside this method we created an object of the edge box and then this we created this three component and we added inside the box by get children that add all username password and login and then we return this box from this method so we call this here get hbc which returns our hbox and we put it on the top of our border pan so then we added this root layout in our scene oh, one thing we forgot this we 
didn't put our scene inside the stage so we can call set scene and then put our scene inside stage oh yes as now as you can see that is nice so you can give padding for our each box set padding by new inset by passing new inset which is this one top for example 20 right 0 and uh, bottom also 20 right left uh, also 10 oh, okay now let's run again also let's have any style okay set set style can we can take and we can set style effects by inline style by the method set style to give an inline style okay background color for example a color something like this okay now let's run okay this lo looks like better but our component is uh, doesn't have any spacing so let's add some spacing box that set spacing okay okay this is better than the previous so this is 10 is okay okay so let's add one other method just we copy this copy this method and I want this method returns a V box okay get V box this also should be a V box okay so this v box we don't want to have any style for our v box but i want to have this padding and this spacing and instead of this text field i want to add hyperlink from java.fx.sin.control things i want to create an array of hyperlink is equal to new hyperlink okay and here i want to get my hyperlink for example berma and dot me for ex oh sorry for example new hyperlink youtube.com slash burma mem okay uh, also you can add something some the other link 
Also, I want to create a caption at the top text. Okay, text. New text. This be links and this the caption. We change the font to Arial. And font weight to bold and the, the size of our font is 15. Okay, and I want to cut this font that font font dot font and this value let's import font okay this is also font We don't have this so we have an area of hyperlink we can add them by four we use a four h4 okay so we have a four uh, we define the type of our, our object here hyperlink and the area is links okay in every loop we add them inside the box by get children that add link okay but first of this I want to add the caption get children that add caption okay so we have added this hyperlinks by four and the caption also v4 so let's run again as you can see there is nothing because we didn't add it to the root layout so let's add it okay put that set top no set lift get vvc vbox components let's run yeah this is our application okay so this is good and let's get a met uh, another method so we made two methods here also you didn't you don't need this make your code smaller okay this also will work fine as you can see so let's create another method public void add stack pan okay add stack pan sp this stack pan should give an each box and box okay so first of all uh, let's create an object of 
class rectangle make sure this comes from the job fix that's in that ship rectangle is equal to a new rectangle okay and choose this constructor method with two parameters to specify the width and the height okay and also let's have a text for example question mark test text help is equal to a new text just add a question mark so write that write that set fill and here uh, we call the set fill method and uh, let's return a color I want to use gradient linear gradient linear gradient I want to use this one this is the start x 0 0 start y and x and in y 1 and pro proportional proportional also true and cycle method no cycle okay no cycle and the props I want to make an array of props here is uh, sorry stop okay okay now we add it I will stop let's stop here and stop set a new stop and here we define the define the offset of our stop first the first step is the offset is zero and the color some color dot whip for example okay something like this Let's change this to something like this. Okay, like this. And let's add some stroke set a stroke and the stroke I want to add color dot V hexadecimal color uh, here when the when the when the okay let's add some style to the text also help the set text set text no set font font that font Arial, for example, font weight that bolt, and this is the side of font. And let's 
add uh, some text, some set fill to the font color dot white. Okay. And also let's add some set arc okay arc width to the rectangle select set arc width and height for example 5 and set arc width also 5 and and this is enough now just return the box dot get children dot add all just add just add new uh, we add an stack pan here so let's create an stack pan okay stack new stack pan okay um, add this add the two components rectangle and uh, help text inside the stack pan that get children that add all right and help text okay Add side. We add the stack inside the box, and then let's return. No return because we don't have a return type here. Okay. Let's run. Okay. It is not here because we don't add this method as stack pan method so we should add here add stack pan method and we should we should pass an edge box okay so I want to get this edge box And then return it and then pass it to the add stack one okay I call this method this method returns an edge box and I assign it inside the box then I put it at the top and then at, uh, here we call the add stack one method and we pass this edge box so this two component rectangle and help well added to the edge box we created here okay so let's see okay that is, looks nice okay so let's let's move it, move it to the to the right so to move this question this stack one to the right just add stack that set alignment post that center right okay as you can see now this looks like this so why because 
we don't have priority for our edge box so we should add a priority which will add space for our edge box okay so here edge box that set edge group to the stack and priority always okay as you can see there's move to the right set priority set edge group method add space here okay say so add space here now if you see if you see actually the components will add to the lift but if I make this to the cent center then it will at to the center okay because this takes this space here but I don't want this I want to this should be right but I want to add some margin stack on that set margin to the node help text and new insert from the right 10 okay okay now this looks like better so this was the add edge box add stack pan method and let's add some another method Okay, so I want to stop this with you and the remaining I want to add in the other videos. Thank you for your watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.